Sock Bob. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Walk With Me Gaming. We are back to playing Sock Pop games. Uh, this week, we are playing Goblet Cave. Uh, this is... From what I've read, the reviews are kind of iffy in terms of the game being just a little glitchy. Um, but the idea of it definitely seems like the exact kind of thing I want to play, which is essentially uh, Minecraft, but without the monsters. So just exploring. Um, ooh, this is definitely... He moves a little slow, I will admit. Uh, your character... Oof, this is definitely this feels slower than last time maybe it's because i'm recording now but um hello peanut man <laughs> oh yeah well i'm gonna get the treasure so the goal on this is to get there's i guess like a a goblet that is like the the main thing that is uh the main treasure but uh, there's all sorts of other stuff too, mainly uh, the currency in this game, which is like rubies. Um, and as you go down, you can basically pick up stuff that you can use in the future. Uh, so, for, so for example, that uh, platform I just picked up, even though it's kind of definitely way too big for me. Um, but yeah, this is basically just like diving into a mine into a Minecraft dungeon and just being like, all right, we're just we're just gonna just go on down and oh gosh oh wow oh good i didn't get hurt what is down there Ooh, i don't know what that is but i want to get down at least that far so here's here's what i've noticed uh i did test this out a little bit and here's what i've noticed uh climbing getting down is uh pretty straightforward climbing up is where the problem is and uh you can so if you go back up, oh, oh definitely hurt myself there. Um, but you can go back up and uh, spend these rubies uh, with that guy out there. He'll let you buy like more torches and stuff like that to get deeper. But uh, the problem is I've noticed that every time it doesn't, it doesn't feel like I'll be able to get back up because um, there's like ladders and ropes that you can use, but they don't really work very well. Um, for example, the ropes, uh, when I was testing things out, uh, I definitely like tossed a rope to like climb and uh, it hooked on something, but then the rope dangled through, um, through a wall. Uh, and so in the, even though I had thrown it appropriately, it, uh, I was unable to use it because it would just clip, it, I would clip through the wall and fall off the rope. So made it impossible for me to travel forward. Oh gosh, oh please, yes. Sweet, oh, it's like bioluminescence down here. But this is, uh, but I do love the the feel of this. Like, I think there's a lot of interest, oh. <laughs> I heard a little groan. Oh, I see. These are mushrooms. They have bioluminescence. Okay, that's what's lighting up this. Um, when I when I did play this earlier too, I heard that weird moaning, and I thought either my cats were fighting or like something is down here uh, that's gonna kill me because I have the mentality from Minecraft of like uh, like I'm gonna be hunted by monsters, uh, but that is not the case from what I've seen so far. I don't think there's any monsters. Um, who's yelling? Are you down there? Anyone? Do you need assistance? Do you require medical resistance? A girder, okay. Wow. Um, also, cool thing with this, this game is randomly generated, so it's a different map every time. Oh, I hear someone. Oh, I see a torch. I think that might be our friend. Not friend. Uh, child of our enemy. So I guess that's our friend? I don't know. Hello, peanut man. There's no way I'm getting back up with this guy. 
Also, the funny thing with this, uh, you don't really interact with them. You just pick them up like you do all these other tools that you've been collecting. <laughs> Hi. Oh, you are little. You really did send his kids down here. That's a bad move. That's bad parenting right there. <laughs> don't send your kids into deep dark holes. That's unsafe and unwise. Yeah, this is pretty easy to navigate going down, just as long as you don't hit too big of a jump. Uh, or a drop, is what I mean. Uh, okay, let's see. So, I need to place that so I can do something. I think, I think right there might be a good place for that. Yeah. Okay. Nice thing is that you can continue to carry your torches. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh whew. I was like, I'm about to die, aren't I? Uh, yeah, I'll take that with me. From what I've seen, it's best to just keep everything with me. I have no idea if the goblet is supposed to be at the bottom or if it's or if it's like just in somehow like the mix of caves but uh oh gosh oh gosh nope oh almost died there <laughs> uh anything else down here aside from more rubies like i i just feel like i need to keep going down I feel like this is like the, um, oh god, it's like Jacob Geller's video about the fear of depths, talking about the caving incident where the guy got trapped in a cave and was like hundreds of feet down and people couldn't even like get to him without being like terrified and losing their minds trying to climb down to rescue him. That's how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, I might be slightly stuck here. That didn't really uh, work as well as I wanted it to, I don't think. Oh, okay. Well, it, that did, I guess. Oh, good job. So you just have to be close enough to, to, to be able to grab that, but then the problem is you also have to be able to have the rope accessible to climb, so it's kind of... It's a very hit or miss system with this. Oh, I'll take that platform too. Good thing I've got a pretty unlimited inventory space. Oh, did, is there a torch down there? Is there someone down there or is that just me? That might just be me. Well, I hope that's not too far. It's not. Oof, yeah. The, oh, that's a gem. What about this hole? Is this a safer one to go down? It looks a little safer, although it also doesn't look like it goes much further. Oh, well, maybe it does. Yeah, there's a drop off there. Oh, don't die. Don't die. I just don't want to die. That's all I want. Just don't die. <laughs> I like this. This is this is neat. It's uh other than the slow pace, this is really cool. Just being able to uh, just spelunk your way down although this twitchy girder here is uh creeping me out i'd really like to take that so that i don't have to see that anymore uh, uh, just a just a random opening apparently you can also blow up parts of things because i have a bomb but uh another comment that people are saying about them is that the bombs are so underpowered they're basically useless so i don't know so far i've not seen a need to use a bomb yet um just gonna keep on. Oh gosh. Oh, ooh, look at all these things. Ooh, these are all nice things. We got. Wow. See, and and I know that the the idea is more of just this is just resources for you, but it also I feel like plays into like making its own story because you're like all these things are down here. Does this mean that people have been down here this far, and were they able to get out? Like. It's kind of like, oh my gosh, like it's it makes it intimidating because I've now gone way farther down than I expected to go. And I have 
absolutely no expectation of being able to get my character back up. Um, which is fine to me, because I'm perfectly fine with my character simply dying in these caves. <laughs> but uh, for a realistic perspective, like that is horrifying. Like the idea of getting lost in an underground cavern, like there's a there's a reason like when a horror movie uses something like this as a concept and just being underground like this like it's a video game and i know there's no enemies and i'm still just like just it's anxious like walking down this because it's just so it's just that it's that fear of the unknown you know um i'll leave that ladder there that actually looks like a good place for that ladder See, and again, I don't know if these are supposed to be programmed so that it does have, like, the ladders going down like that, like, intentionally to these areas, or if it's more of just, like, a, these are just kind of leftover things. Oh, oh, hey. I'll take that ladder, because there's a secret entrance. Okay, do I need a bomb for this? Is this what the bombs are for? So that's kind of nice. I'm glad that worked. Okay, so it, oh, wait, hold the, hold the torch. Okay, wow, that actually cleared the way. Okay, so the bombs actually do do something. That was a definitely the correct use for them. Like, I'm half expecting to just find a body down here. And again, I don't think that's going to be the case, but it's like, this whole thing feels like so intimidating as you keep just going further and further down and I'm loving it and I know that there's seriously no way I'm gonna come out of this um, more rubies what is that is that a hole I don't know what that is but I'm not but that goblet is is going to evade me probably but uh, you know I'm all about exploration so this is this is this is my jam well what's happening okay keep going we're gonna be rich if we ever get out of here i mean that that feel it feels like something out of uh like a cartoon like trying to teach a lesson where the guy is like gonna be like so weighed down with all the the jewels and gems that like he won't be able to escape and that's pretty much the situation we're in because <laughs> we ain't we ain't climbing out of this oh oh i saw something down there what is that? Another ladder? God, how far down does this go? Like, I seriously have no idea if, if I'm ever actually going to find the goblet at all, or if it's if it's just keep going further down. Cause if it's just keep because if the goblet's further down, we're gonna get there eventually, but if it's not, uh, then we're just gonna keep plummeting. Oh, I hear another child. They sound like penguins and look like peanuts. What a strange situation. I can actually hear the echo like coming from a direction. Uh, I hear you kids. You know, your father doesn't actually care about you if he sent you down here to collect treasure. Just, just letting you know. You should, uh, you should really report him to child services. I hear ya. I don't know if I'm getting closer to ya. What is that? It's a stone, I guess. I think I missed him. I think he's over there. Hmm. Alright, I'm coming. I don't know if I can. Okay. Hmm. I'm getting closer. I hear him. I hear you, peanut friend. I'm coming. You up here? Whoa. Oh. 
I guess I'm close. He's here. I guess I guess they do talk to you. Well, where are you? Oh, dude, you are really st stuck in the wall there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm having trouble finding the goblet too. <laughs> oh, there's another one. So there's two in here? There's two trapped. No idea where he is. I'll come back for you when I get the goblet. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry, you'll be fine. <laughs> this is crazy. Just how far this... Oh. Who, who, who was that? See more mushrooms. Oh, oh, there's a torch. Is there? Is that our little guy? Yep, there he is. Oh, it's even farther down. Okay. All right, I'll get you, buddy. I'll get you, probably. Can I fall? Whoa. <gasps> there it is. Oh my gosh. We found it. Oh, there's no way we're getting out of here. We're so far down. Oh, man. Uh, oof. Okay. So, let me try this. That didn't quite work. Yeah, I hear you, bud. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oof, this rock outcropping. Nope, that didn't work. And there goes one of my clamps. Oh, that actually worked pretty well. Okay, so climb only goes up. No! <laughs> I was like, I'm dead. Well, I'm as close to dead as I can be. Hey, little guy, guess what? I found your brothers. I'll certainly try. All right, kid. Can you guys at least have given me the torches? Can't believe we actually found the goblet. Well, that's cool. So it is just a straight down, just keep going down. There's no way we're making it back up. We're gonna die in this cave. <laughs> Might as well get all the stuff we can. Because there's no way we're getting back up. Oh my god. At least we can move the goblet a little higher up so that someone in the future can find it. <laughs> oh, that's the sound of beautiful majesty. Oh gosh. Please don't tell me that the cave is caving in. Oh gosh. And I fell and died. Great. <laughs> I didn't even bring it any higher. All right, well, that's it. Um, <laughs> I had a feeling that would happen. But um, yeah, I like that one, Goblet Cave. So go check that out if you feel like uh, Minecraft plays too easily. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel about this one. Uh, but I did think it's cool. Uh, I love the concept and I love just diving deeper because that's exactly what I do in Minecraft. I just dig a hole and keep going until I, I can't go any further. Sorry about the hiccups. 
Uh, but that's it for this one. So uh, check out more Sock Pop videos on Saturdays. Check out my other videos if you like. Um, there's plenty to watch and plenty to see. Leave likes and comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. And uh, that's it. I will see you guys next time. Bye.